Today we're going to take a look at a new product that will automate your phosphate and nitrate testing. Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Paul and today we're going to look at this new product that is semi almost out and it delivers a lot of promises especially measuring these two key parameters that I am interested in which is the phosphate and the nitrate. We're going to just take a look at this product to see what it can offer for us. All right, so here is my Apex screen. I have the Trident. And so if we take a look at this right here, it's measuring alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. The two elements that are really crucial for me uh, would be the phosphate and the nitrate but apparently the Trident doesn't have the capability to measure those two parameters. There is Massatronic and another product that does measure, and I believe that is the Reef Kinetic or Reef Robot or something like that. But that product is probably just not as good as the Massatronic. However, Massatronic has a lot of moving parts and I've heard mixed reviews on that product so I am currently measuring alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. You can see here by the graph here. But what I would like to also automate is the phosphate and the nitrate. And Refactory is a new company, or at least new to me, and they put together this product called the Smart Tester. And this unit, it's supposed to be one that can measure one parameter at a time so this unit if you wanted to measure magnesium it would be set up for magnesium if you wanted to target nitrate and phosphate or two different elements to measure then you would need two systems and honestly i based on what i read so far i wouldn't mind buying two units because those are the only two parameters that i need to really test now i just don't have the time to sit there you know once a week and do that manual testing especially on the weekends because I get busy and I go out of town I just don't have the time to sit there and wait so this will make it easy for me to kind of track the history of my parameters to see if it's going up or down and then that way I can make adjustments as needed so this unit here looks pretty compact and based on what I'm seeing here it can provide up to 160 tests uh, per reagent set. And if we look at this setup here, the good thing about this is that it's got one nozzle in for the aquarium water and one nozzle out, which is going to go into kind of like a wastewater tank. So you'll have to have a tank on the side. And basically if I do get this unit, when it becomes available, it's gonna share the same waste container as a trident. So just by looking at this, it's got two larger stepper motor here and then three A, B, and C stepper motor in the back. And it looks like it's pulling in reagents to a mixing chamber. And my assumption would be that it is using LED or infrared light to measure the color of the uh, fluid after it's done mixing to determine the value or the parameter of that element. So mounting system looks like they come with a, a mounting bracket here that you can buy and mount to the wall. According to what they mentioned here, it can do magnesium, uh, phosphate, nitrate, and calcium. Again, I think for most people, they're gonna want to test phosphate and nitrate. So if we take a look at this here, they do have an application for your smart device or your phone. And it looks like connectivity is gonna be through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to your phone. And that's where the data is gonna be sent to be saved and stored. It uh, measures about 8.3 inches wide, 3.7 inches deep. 5.5 inches tall. So this unit is smaller than the Trident, uh, but then again, the Trident measures three parameters. This one measures one at a time. 
Now, it looks like currently the magnesium reagent and the phosphate reagent is currently available. So I'm assuming the nitrate and calcium is currently being developed at the moment. All right, so it looks like this unit is going to be retailed for $680. So it is quite expensive to, uh, to only be measuring one parameter. When you compare it to the Trident, at about the same price, it'll measure three parameters. But just at $680, I don't mind spending that kind of money to get the parameters that I need, especially because I don't have the time. Now looking at the PO4 measurements, it looks like, again, we get about 160 tests out of the reagent. Magnesium, we're only getting about 50 tests. Um, if you were to get this unit, personally, I would say just get it for the PO4 testing. Uh, there's not much information about NO3, but I am hoping that it would also still yield about 160 tests. All right, once again, this is the overview of the smart tester that's gonna be coming out soon. And I am very excited about this product because I've been waiting for something like this to come out. I know that the GHL has the ion probe that tests nitrate, but it does not do phosphate. And that whole system runs about $1,000 for the standalone version. So I am really not looking to go any other route, but possibly just this route here. And when this unit comes out, I really want to get one to test it out for myself. So let me know what you guys think about the Smart Tester. It looks like a promising product. I know just like anything else, if the price point was around $300, it would be a game changer and a steal for everyone. But at $680, it is quite expensive. It costs a pretty penny, but for those who don't have the time, I think it's going to be worth it for them. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if this is something you would consider. I know I am. Again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. Again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.